Here we go. I'm, I'm good right here. It's not this type of show. Thank you, everybody. Welcome to the show. Please give a little bit of love for my good friend, all in orange. Is that orange? It's orange. Tangerine. It's Tangerine. Shane Wells, everybody. Hey. How you doing? I think I'm doing a lot better than you today. I am. Yeah, I, you are doing a lot better. I'll explain. But before we do, I want to. I just uh, re realized I want to acknowledge two things. First, you know, we have the Jason Show fan club, which started out. Yeah. It's a great Facebook group. I love the folks. It started out as like four people and a, and a cocker spaniel, and then now it's a, and up there, there's the grand, now, now wait a minute, now don't take off that shot, Leo. So there's Jace right there. Now you remember Jace because he had our logo tattooed on his body, on his leg, yeah. Now, what's funny is we haven't seen Jace in a while because people don't know this, over the last six months, he's traveled the country campaigning for Janet Jackson to get into the Rock and Roll Hall of yes. Fame. That's right, yeah, so. I mean, he doesn't want me to tell people that, but seriously, <laughs> hashtag put Janet in the Hall of Fame, yeah. for heaven's sake, yeah. No, okay, so on to less important things, and I think this is something you all can relate to, maybe some of it. I, uh, you're looking at a dude that's only had about collectively an hour's sleep last night because uh, I came home last night. I had a girl's night. I went out with the gang, and I came home, and uh, nothing was out of the ordinary. I walk in my house. I go in the room, uh, the dogs are there, Colin's watching TV, like Little House on the Prairie or something, and we're, and we're sitting there and all of a sudden the phone rings. And it's Colin's phone. And you know, I don't really answer my phone. I realize people don't really call me, you know? So it was weird that the phone rang and then my phone rang. I'm like, why is both of our phones ringing? And all of a sudden, I see Colin jump up and start putting normal clothes on. And then as I'm listening to my voicemail, I'm connecting the dots. Our, our maintenance guy who lives across the hall from us, I live in a condo unit, called us and said, um, hey, uh, there's water dripping uh, on a car below your unit. Oh. And I think it's coming from your unit. So all of a sudden, at that moment, I hear Colin go, oh my goodness! <laughs> and I went, oh no, this is gonna be a long night because it was about nine o'clock. We open up our laundry room and it looked like Charlton Heston was parting the Red Sea. Oh. I mean, it was like the water just poured out. And it was, you know, about two inches, about an inch of water. What had happened was the washer uh, never stopped filling. The cycle messed up. And it just kept filling. And Colin was in the other part of the house and didn't hear it. All he was doing was doing socks. Like, I, oh. there was nothing weird about the All load. All that for socks? All that for socks. Oh. And so then they brought, now let me show you. So then we had to get this crew that came in at about 10, 11 o'clock at night. And they brought in this thing that looked like a robot oh. from the 70s. Like, look at that thing. It's pretty quiet, right? It's the size of a Ford Focus. So that is in my, that's in my place right now, dehumidifying the, I think the entire North Loop of Minneapolis. But it's so loud, yeah. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. I'm hoping I'm going right after the show to see if there's any damage to the floors. And I, it, it's just this one thing you don't want to deal with right before the holidays. Merry the, Christmas. Merry <laughs> Christmas, everybody. So I don't know. And I want everyone to know, you know, I've been obsessed with my Christmas stags. All of my stags are safe. Just everybody. I got them out of the house. The dogs. I put, I put all my stags on Dexter's back and then they can't carry it out of the house. Everybody's safe. Anyway. Uh, let's get going, everybody. It's time for the hot dish. Let's roll it! Drink up. It's vodka today. Yep. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Julia Roberts made her first trip to the Late Show since Stephen Colbert took over. You know, Julia loved Dave. And the crowd, look at this. This was great. The crowd gave her quite the ovation. Take a look.
thanks for being here. I'm happy to be here. Go ahead. I don't Go know. Ahead. That's so overwhelming. Yeah. I'm going to start weeping. <laughs> yeah, but it's so cool. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. You know why? We were talking about this. You know why that happened? Is because she's one of the last, like, four movie stars. Yeah. You know, and, and then I know the secret to that, too, is the fact it's because we don't know everything about her. You know, we don't know what kind of uh, toast she likes, what, you know, she doesn't, you know, now the stars, and I get it, you have to connect on social media, but there's no mystery anymore to anybody. You know everything about everybody. There's a little bit of mystery. She's extremely personal. She doesn't let, you know, she doesn't talk about her family a lot, and I love that. And look how good, that she looks as good as she did in 1991. It's amazing. I think that uh, she and Dolly Parton have the same plastic surgeon. Yeah. No, it's not a bad thing, I like, or uh, whatever, the people that work on them. They oh. oh, please, you know she's had some work done. Come on. We, no. She's had a little something something. How dare you. How dare I you. I speak the truth. She has not had, no. Botox? I would be, no I Botox? I would no bet. No shot. Oh, maybe a little, maybe a little. I would Jason. bet your tangerine dress over there that she has not had plastic surgery. Well, I so I call Botox like plastic surgery. You I guess do? It's not, well, I don't know. It's work. It okay, changes your fine. face. I find a little bit, maybe a little filler, but she is not. You take that back right now, Shane Wells. You take that back. Oh, and you think Dolly's natural too? Oh my, are you besmirching two of my queens? But she's why, not why, don't you, why don't you just say something about Janet Jackson and get, and get Jane upset? I don't want him coming after yeah. me. Because Jace will run down here like a contestant playing Plinko. I believe yeah, it. Yeah, let me tell you. Anyway, Julia, I'm very sorry. Uh, Julia stars in a new <laughs> film called Ben is Back, and she apparently invited, you'll like this, invited co-star Lucas Hedges, she, Lucas plays her son, over to her house last year for Thanksgiving while they were filming. No, it was last year, I think. But that, uh, that might have been the last time he gets that invite. Look at this great moment. We asked him, uh, Lucas, last night about Thanksgiving. With oh, you. no. Did you make him say something mean? I did not make him say something did mean. Did he say something mean? Not mean, just honest. What? <gasps> Jim? She cooked a lot. I had Thanksgiving at her house. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, I it assume it's a very nice house. Very nice house. Very, yeah. very, very nice house. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. What was, what was Thanksgiving there? How was it? Delicious. Yeah? Turkey wasn't dry? A little dry. <laughs> That's the last turkey he's getting in my house. Best clip of the day. It's not going to get better than that. That's nope. fantastic. Ben is back, hits theaters on Friday. Let's move on. Uh, we now know who the host of the Oscars will be in February. Drum roll, please. Oh, wow, we have a drum roll. Holy. Didn't expect that. We are just, look at that. Okay. That's, Big budget. That sound effect is $700 right there. The honor. The honor goes to Kevin Hart, everybody. The comedian posted on Instagram. Yeah, he posted on Instagram that it is an opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, and he's, uh, he said it's been his goal for quite a while. Now, Kevin follows Jimmy Kimmel, who hosted the last two years. Well, it's a good thing Kevin is excited because he should have read the Hollywood Reporter article that recently called that gig the least wanted job in Hollywood. <laughs> and yeah, it was a pretty extensive article. And it, because he, he, they, this is why they say why that's the way that it is. It requires weeks of work. It is low pay. I don't think people know that. They don't get paid hardly anything. If it's like the Super Bowl, you don't get paid for the Super Bowl relative to what they could make. The performers don't. The singers do not get paid for the Super Bowl. Uh, most people, appe most appeal, uh, you know, m most. It, the host must appeal to everyone, be funny, don't be controversial, be politically savvy without being partisan, and other requirements. And usually, always get ripped by the critics the next day. The broadcast, as you guys have known, we've been covering it, has been seeing the ratings fall since Ellen hosted in 2014. It is. It's the it, Entertainment Weekly one time called it the most thankless job in America for all the reasons that I just said, because here's the deal. 
Kevin, I'll, I'll make a prediction. Kevin will stop the bleeding of the ratings. I don't know if it's going to reverse because television viewing in general is going down because everybody's watching things on YouTube and Hulu and Netflix. So Kevin may see a smaller dip in the ratings, but I do believe that the combination of Kevin plus, let's think about the movies that are nominated, this, that will be nominated this year. Star is Born. You're going to have Lin-Manuel Miranda for Mary Poppins Returns. Uh, you're going to... Oh, Black Panther. Okay, hold on a minute. Oh, hold on a minute. Really, can I tell you one of the great joys of doing this job is my executive producer, Jeff, stands right over here, and when he's trying to... And the audience saw what he did. When Jeff is trying to tell me something and he can't, and I can't hear him, he makes gestures. He was trying to get me to say Black Panther, and this is what Jeff was doing. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Jeff. Anyway, the combination of all those movies plus Kevin, I predict a ratings slight uptick or the bleeding will be minimal. Do you think they need a host? Yes, they do. Okay. You need to keep that show going. Yeah, you do. Lots more Not to come. Then. Yeah. No, I don't know if this show needs a host today. Yeah. <laughs> Lots more to come, everybody. Grab another cup of coffee. We'll be back right after this. Coming up, have you ever watched a movie on your new TV and thought, Hey, this looks weird. Well, Tom Cruise is here to help. Find out why Maverick wants to fix your television. Then they're one of the hottest local bands blowing up social media and selling out venues all over. We're getting a live performance from Yam House. And finding just the right gift for your girlfriends can be hard. Candle anyone? So how do you pick the perfect gift and stay on budget? We have the Girlfriend's Guide to Holiday Gifts just ahead. My mom, we got, we took an astray once and, uh, and we didn't realize she was pregnant. My mom, the litter was, was had, we had a bunch of cats and then she didn't spare nor any of them. And then we, they just multiplied what? like wet gremlins. Like they just kept going. And eventually we had about um, nine adult cats and three litters all in the house at one time. It was, it was nuts. Animal allergic to cats too. So that made, oh, oh, wow. it, was ins it was insanity. But so. our friends, our, they took over the whole kitchen. It was the, the, the one funny thing that came out of it was the cats kind of took over the kitchen, which is clearly not hygienic. But anyway, uh, <laughs> they, would, they would put their litters in the drawers and so friends would come over and they'd go to like, you know, looking for like some, you know, a fork. And they'd open, yeah, exactly. And they'd open a drawer and there's a litter of kittens. But cats, when the kittens are disturbed, they then move the kittens. And so every day you would open a random <laughs> drawer. <for the> kittens. <laughs> it was like a game. It was That's ridiculous. So Got base? Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Zachary Levi with James Corden last night talking about growing up with a ton of cats. And remember, everybody, because we don't want emails. We love cats here. We love cats on the show. Lots of love. We love cats and essential oils. More dish free this morning. <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, speaking of things we love, I should tell the audience, we haven't told him yet, everyone gets a mug today. <laughs> everyone gets a mug today. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Except for Jace. I'm just joking. No, no, no. <laughs> While some of us around here are obsessed with Hallmark movies this holiday season, gee, I wonder who that is, Netflix is also producing Christmas movies that are getting a lot of eyeballs. Netflix is doing this. Wait till you, this is a crazy story, but look at the clip of the movie we're talking about. Christmas spirit's down 35%. Half the planet's not gonna get toys. So a few brats don't get presents, it's not the end of the world. People need Christmas to remind themselves of how good they can be. Wendy, you got so big. Excuse me? You know what I mean, grown up big. Now Wendy, we need a ride. Can you call an Uber? You think I can pay the driver with these? Okay, that is a clip, everybody. There's a reason we're showing you this. That's the Christmas Chronicle starring Kurt Russell. Now, the reason we're doing the story is, listen to this. Netflix says that that movie was watched by 20 million people in its first week. Which, hold on, listen to this. Which equals, which they say equals a $200 million opening at the box office. That is nuts. Well, I mean, again, there is, you know, especially during the holidays, and I think all the time, 
there is a, uh, there's not a lot of family movies out there, new ones, and this is a family movie, so you're going to watch it, and it's Kurt Russell. Who doesn't love Kurt Russell? You know what I, I mean? I watched the wrong one. I watched The Princess Switch. Oh, oh what, what in the, what is that? It's exactly oh. what it sounds oh, like. Aaron Schwab just passed out. What, I mean, what, was it that bad? Yeah, it's Vanessa Hudgens. Oh, is that on Netflix? Sure is. Oh, yeah. No, I'm Have not a really no. big glass of wine with it. Maybe you'll enjoy it a little oh, more. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's my review. <laughs> it's Shane's review, everybody. We'll have, to get, we'll have to get Ted on that next week. <laughs> next in the dish, uh, late last week, the world freaked out at the possibility that Friends was going to be removed from Netflix in January. So people poor. I'm not kidding. People lost their mind. Well... That is not the case. Friends will stay on the streaming service until at least 2020. Yeah. Now, and let me tell you, Friends fans, y'all better be happy because listen to this. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the deal to get Friends is worth between 70 and $80 million just for next year alone. Other reports say it could be as high as $100 million a year for the rerun rights of a show that went off the air in 2004. I mean, it's And is on TV all the time as it is. It is on, if you like TBS, go right, TBS, it's on right now. Right. I mean, yeah. And from 10 o'clock forward, it's on Nick at Night. I mean, it's on all of the time. But you know someone that's streaming that. Oh, Colin watches it. He doesn't watch this show. He, wa he watches <laughs> Friends. That's all he watches. Uh, we will, I'm not kidding. I will wake up sometimes and I'll go in our movie room, or when I come home, if he stays up after me, I'll go into our movie, uh, the, the TV room, and I'll turn on the TV, and it's on Nickelodeon. And I'm like, who in our house is watching, like, Dora the Explorer? But I realize it's Colin watching Friends at, like, midnight, you know? But no, it's, it, look, here's the deal. The reason everyone freaked out is, I don't want to get too inside baseball on this, but so Warner Brothers is the company that controls Friends. Warner Brothers is doing yet another streaming service. So people were thinking that, oh, Warner is just going to put it on there. No, they're going to share it for a while, and then eventually it'll just be on. I I'm getting to your point now that we're getting wow. too many streaming services. Hey. I mean, we're, I, I'm almost there, yeah. Because soon... How many so do you have? we got to take a break. Still to come. <laughs> CBS, I have Hulu, I have Netflix. Amazon? I, I have Amazon. I have four. I have four. Yeah, that's it. Don't that's whistle it. at that. I don't, I mean, I, no, that's four, but soon it'll be as much as a cable bill. You know what I mean? Right. It's like, it's about $8 a piece, but yeah. Oh, and I have YouTube. I have YouTube premium, so I don't get commercials. Yeah. So that's, that is worth it. I got to tell you, and we'll tell you why that's really worth it next week. Anyway, still to come. <laughs> You know how some movies look different <laughs> when you watch them on your TV at home? Tom Cruise? Yes. Tom Cruise is on a mission to fix your TV. We will explain. And then, First Avenue, consider them one of the best bands of 2018. Yam House is in our house, everybody! We'll be right back. Stay with us. If you're watching us in the future, <laughs> if you're watching us in the future, Merry Christmas week, everybody. That's right, yeah, everyone. <laughs> It'll make sense when you eventually watch this show. Anyway, by the way, uh, if you want to get tickets, uh, we're, we're live through most of December. Tickets are still available. Oh, and by the way, uh, yeah, we have some good guests coming up next week. Just go to our Jason Show Facebook page, click tickets, and reserve your spot. You're in by 930, and you are out by 1115. And who knows, like today, it could be a mug day. So there we go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and uh, coming up a little bit later, an update on that family I've been telling you about that we've been trying to help that lost their house, their pets, their everything in a tragic house fire. Uh, we put the GoFundMe pages up. Wait till you hear how much money you guys have helped raise. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. But right now, more hot dish. We told you yesterday, Tom Cruise's latest movie, Mission Impossible Fallout, is available now on the old Blu-ray and DVD or VHS, if you still have that. As part of the release, this is so great. As part of the release, Tom is on a different mission, Shane. Tom is on a mission to make sure the movie looks good when y'all watch it at home. 
He took a break from filming. This is not a joke. He took a break from filming Top Gun, the sequel, to talk about something we've all probably seen but didn't realize it. Look at this. Hi, I'm Tom Cruise. Obviously. <laughs> and I'm Chris McCoy. Obviously. And we're talking to you from the set of Top Gun Maverick. We're very proud to present Mission Impossible Fallout, and we want you to enjoy it to the fullest possible effect, just as you would in a theater. To that end, we'd like a moment of your time to talk to you about video interpolation. <laughs> uh, what? Okay. Now you're thinking, what in the world is that? <laughs> now, Tom, Shane, now before, do you know what it is? No. Okay. Should I? And, I and, probably should, right? And Shane is in television, everybody. And yeah, <laughs> if you true. don't know, yeah, yeah. This is fascinating to me. Mashable, this is like one of the top stories on Mashable right now. Tom said the official term is called video interp interpolation. Did I say it right? Yeah. Now, what it is, it's a fancy term for why movies don't always look the same on our TV as they did at the theater. They call it the soap opera effect. Tom and the director explained what's happening. Look at this. Video interpolation or motion smoothing is a digital effect on most high definition televisions and is intended to reduce motion blur in sporting events and other high definition programming. The unfortunate side effect is that it makes most movies look like they were shot on high speed video rather than film. Now, this is sometimes referred to as the soap opera effect. Without a side by side comparison, many people can't quite put their finger on why the movie they're watching looks strange. Most HD TVs come with this feature already on by default. So here's a deal. Now, yeah, because this happens to me, and I, I look, this is the one of three ways I'm a dude. I'm really, I, I'm really techie, so it drives me crazy when I see this in people's houses because it's hard to figure out. You already out. knew? Oh, yeah. I, I, w the minute I buy a TV, I immediately switch this. So it can be confusing on how to turn this off because manufacturers make this a, 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 an automatic setting when you open up your new TV. So Cruz and the director encourage people to Google and do this. If you bought a new TV, and I know I saw you all on Black Friday, a lot of <laughs> you are getting some new TVs. If you have a new TV, if you're watching this potato right now on a new TV, this is what you Google, how to turn off video interpolation along with the brand of your TV. Just Google all of that. Like how to, you know, or, or you can even put, turn off soap opera effect on my TV. And it'll explain how you make the switch. And I'm not joking. Movies have like a smooth look to them. It doesn't look, like when you watch a soap opera, it looks like your cousin Eddie shot it on a camcorder. You know what I mean? It looks like this. It looks like the Jason show. TV looks vast, vastly different than, than uh, movies do. Movies look way better in this format. So go right now, go to your thing and turn off if it says motion blur, video interpolation, you want that turned off. So when you watch a movie, like Maverick said, it looks the way the director wants it to look. So there we go, yeah. Have you done this? No. And now I think maybe that's why I didn't like the princess switch. It's just, it's just that. Who put a quarter in you today? I love it. Still ahead, everybody, we're, we're chatting with one of the most popular bands of 2018. We're going to talk to the guys from Yam House coming up next. Can we do the cool thing? I wonder if we'll look better in this one. Yeah. Upcoming local band, Yam House, our first guest, our local rock band based out of Hudson, Wisconsin, who have been getting a lot of good buzz lately. Really good buzz. Great buzz. Ever since they released their first album called right there, Stargazer. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the guys of Yam House, everybody. Lars, Seth, Jake, and Zach. Okay, first question. Where uh, I hear there is, does Yam stand for something? It does, yep. Okay. Yam stands for You Are Me. So it's an acronym. Oh, I like that. Yeah. We're oh. trying to be nice. So not the vegetable. No, not, not the yeah. vegetable. Okay. We tried sweet, sweet potato, potato shack. shack. Yeah, it was taken. Yeah. That Doesn't was taken. quite have, that the, same, same not the same ring. I don't no. know if it would fit on an album cover, actually. Yeah. No, no, no. That no. name was taken. How did you guys, were you guys friends? How did you guys meet? 
We grew up in Hudson together. The three yes. of us grew up yes. in Hudson, Wisconsin, which is you three. Okay. Us three. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then and Jake then is from guy. Metro Detroit. Yeah. Oh, nice. So. Yeah. How did you come? Did you? <laughs> how did you come to it was, be? Yeah, they called me out of the blue. We, we no, were like yeah. Detroit <laughs> local drummer needed. Please so we just come. Detroit yeah. Yeah. Yes. Please come. No, I went to school in Minneapolis. Met these guys yep. afterward, and they said, "Do you want to drop?" Everything you're doing and join us and yeah. start this band. It was very intense. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, when you think of uh, local venues and not just here in Minneapolis, First Avenue is one of those iconic places Absolutely. for any musician. I, I hear that your first first or second experience at First Ave was kind of a, an accident. Yes. So we it was a morning and we were all getting up. We actually had a, a TV thing or a student a interview at Saint thing Thomas, at, yeah. yeah, Saint Thomas, which is really cool. And we happened to be in the city and we get an email from First Avenue saying that a sold out national act just had her opener call in sick. Mm -hmm. And they were like, would you guys be interested in the Shut spot? Up. And we're like, well, <laughs> let's think about it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we obviously jumped on the opportunity. I think there was like a four hour turnaround and suddenly we find ourselves playing in front of 1,500 people yeah. in yeah. Minneapolis. Yeah. So what do you, okay. Crazy. Crazy. Four hour turnaround. So what are you guys thinking? What are you doing in that four hours? Well, luckily, I feel like we didn't really have a lot of time to no. think, no. which I think was actually a huge blessing. An advantage, yeah. Yeah, because we were like, man, we could have psyched ourselves out so much if we had time to like prepare for that. Yeah. But we it just well, played. It gets in your head that yeah. you're playing at yeah. first day. You're like, exactly. we're not just playing a gig. We're here yes. at first half, and it would mess yep. you up a little bit. Exactly. So what was that experience like? Take me to that night. You're on the stage. You're looking out. And you're seeing a yeah. view few people see the view from the stage at first half. It's a lot like being on the Jason show. Oh what? Except there's no except there's no except there's no Aaron Schwab in the audience. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. We want to take her with us, by yeah. the way. We have amazing staff and assistants. Aaron Schwab, we we rent. She's very expensive. So <laughs> you can take her. We yeah. believe it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. We, we yeah. No, but how was it that night? It was crazy. It was we have all seen lots of shows there, and it's yeah. kind of that iconic venue. And then so morning of, we're like, oh my gosh, we get to go play on the stage and yeah. like make a dream come true. Yeah. Yeah. And we walked out and we were just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Coolest there's, thing there's ever. There's this big black curtain that is in front of the stage and it, it rises up as the show begins and the lights come up. And you see like the first no. couple rows and you're like, all right, there's see, people here. See, even you saying that <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> because we'll never do that. That's, that's awesome. We'll invite so. you up next Thank time. Thank you, please. Yeah. Yeah. I'll bring Aaron. Bring Aaron. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'd love that you're coming. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the, the video, I gotta ask you about the video, obviously. Uh, was that special effects? Was that real <laughs> snow? What in the world yeah. was that? That was real snow. That was a little bit of a spontaneous creative decision. Oh. And um, we That was the day I almost quit EMH. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, was I, was laying, I was laying in the snow. I was, I was yeah. laying in the snow and I just was like, what are we doing? Yeah. This is what you got the video here. Oh. That that was the worst moment of my life. Yeah, yes. that was bad. <laughs> falling was back, like, falling back. I, I, look at Zach. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, give me out of here. Well, because I know a little, a little about how these things work, and it's like, how long? Because you have to get the shot, then you have to get another yeah, angle. Hurts. How yeah. long were you out there and basically wearing nothing in the uh, middle of? At least 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I would say for that shot, that took a while. <laughs> And what was really bad about that is that we tried a drone shot on that yeah. shot, and they were like 100 yards away hiding behind a tree, and suddenly um, our assistant, Patrick, our manager, um, the, yeah, he's yeah. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Drone yeah. we call him Drony P, and he was flying a drone around my head like that, <laughs> and suddenly the drone was low on battery, and when it's low on battery, it'll automatically fly <laughs> to the person who's flying it 100 yards away, Did and it, it, went, it went right by my head. I, and I'm out of, I can't do anything. I'm in a lot of snow. Yeah. I'm literally stuck in that thing. The Am House was almost a trio. <laughs> it was almost a trio. <laughs> yeah. 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 Almost. Dude, that was almost your, your last time there. Yes. Uh, well, what's coming? So, you have the album. What's coming up next? You guys you guys have some shows coming up. Yeah, we have a Christmas show, December 15th. We're really excited. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in our hometown of Hudson, Wisconsin, which we really want to, like, celebrate with them, do a hometown thing. I was just there. We did, a whole, excited. We did a whole thing at Hudson. It's a great city. It is I amazing. Mean, it really is. It's just cool such town. a yeah. great, cool town. Right in the river. You know, people don't understand. It's actually, I consider it a suburb of Minneapolis, even yeah. though it's a different state. But anyways, we have that show coming up, and then we also have a January 4th Best New Band Showcase at First Ave again. That's where we'll invite you up. Thank you. Yeah. And, you're, and Aaron. Yep. Well, here's, here's the deal. I'm not going to get a yammer into the commercial. Oh. Oh. Gonna <laughs> oh, I actually did do I did a little. That was yeah, amazing. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> you didn't even know. <laughs> wow. Look at a yammer. You're on it. That's yeah. the one hour sleep. They're going to perform at a commercial, but right now, for more information on where to find them, head to their website, bloop, yamhouse.com, and, and check them out at the Best New Bands of 2018 at First Ave. On January 4th, Lars is going to sing us out. I'm going to get out of here. We'll be right back, everybody. Thank Take you.
Yeah, baby. And it's not just for your family, it's for the whole world. And it's not just so you're happy, it's for the whole world. And if you know what you've been given, and you choose to step outside, you'll realize the whole world's waiting on you. us in the future Merry Christmas happy uh, yeah time to see how fast you can think on your feet ladies and gentlemen it's game time Let's do this. Okay. we're playing one of our favorites today five second rule the game is really easy I'm gonna ask you a question you only have five seconds to give me three answers for example I'll say hey give me three people I talked about on today's show and you can say Julie Roberts Tom Cruise Kevin Hart I'm gonna ask you a series of questions to our players while you guys play along at home the player with the most correct answers wins today. And look, it's the guys from Yam House play. Woo! Okay, here we go. Oh, 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 we found the. Okay, there we go. Thank you. See, take Aaron. She, I really you need an Aaron I love, I love Aaron. Is this a timer? This is a timer. I like that. Okay, Hi, starting over. I'm going to start to my right. Are you ready? Yes. The timing will start when I say the first one. Name three things you drink for breakfast. Uh, coffee, orange juice, milk. Done. Okay, there we go. Didn't even have time to reset that. Okay, next. Name three things you have in your nightstand. Alarm clock, phone, wallet. Thank you. Just so you know, the crew had their finger on the button. Just that button. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. Next. Name three things in your refrigerator right now. Eggnog, turkey, and what? cheese. <laughs> it's probably true. It, it is do. probably do you true. Really? I'm a huge eggnog fan. Really? I'm a huge pro eggnog supporter. You will chug it out of the bottle. I will chug I, it. I've really? It. Yeah. yeah, he's seen it. Okay. I do it. Yeah. That's my okay. thing. That's my I, thing. Turkey too? Tur That's a combo. Together okay. it's weird, but I yeah. like it. Yeah. It's a okay. weird combo. Here we go. Okay. Name three concerts you've been to. Ooh, oh man, Yam House. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I couldn't think of any. Yam House, Yam House, Yam House. I was playing. Yeah, the poor guy, he's been playing so like, many concerts. Yeah. It's all a blur for me. I haven't guy. even attended the show, I've only played my own. It's confusing. What, what am I doing? It's confusing. <laughs> what was that? That's a tough one. Okay, I, I here we go. Think. Back over to you. Yep. <laughs> Name three concerts you've been to Denzel Curry, Vince Staples, and Backstreet Boys in 1995. <laughs> Like, I don't know about that. The last one's a little iffy. Okay. Last one's I was one years old. My mom <laughs> snuck me in. It was really fun. Oh, oh, God, oh sorry, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. No, don't, 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 sorry. don't ever say that again. 21. Okay, here we go. Here it is. List three things you want for Christmas. A dog, a uh, cactus, and a neck pillow. <laughs> That's that's good. Good. I, I, I would like those. The cactus is questionable, but the neck pillow, that is true. Yeah. The <laughs> cactus it could is be a good decor. Okay. I don't know. Can they be on our show every day? Yeah, yeah we can. Just come back. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll trade you for Aaron. We'll yeah. come I'm in every done. day. Yeah, 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 there we go. It's a deal. Yeah. Name three of your favorite movies. Uh, Die Hard, Braveheart, and Gladiator. <laughs> Everybody, there we okay. go. Oh, Thank you. Thank you. To, oh, to my use word. Yes. On your tour bus. Oh, oh yes. Look, there we go. That yes. is amazing. Still ahead, everybody. Thank and, you, and, 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 Aaron Schwab signed them. Oh, there my, we go. oh, no, oh my gosh. Oh, Thank you, Aaron. Still ahead. <laughs> having trouble figuring out what gifts to buy the women in your life this holiday season. Two moms are here with their picks for stuff under 50 bucks. We'll be right back, everybody. Stay with Woo! us. Thank you. You guys are great. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. Fun show today. Well, this, this time of year is all about giving.
giving to those we love, including our girlfriends. I had a girlfriend's night last night. Here with their picks for showering the women in your lives with some extra TLC. Give it up for Amy Hirsch and Jen Vick from Charlotte yeah. Living. Hi, guys. Hi. Okay. First of all, I'm, I'm a little in love because we're both from Northwest Indiana. I know, that's I can't right. wait to meet you, Jason. The, the, the town next to each other. We're, we're like, anyway, uh, that's just for, okay. What is Shine Up Living, what, what, is, what does that mean? Well, we're all about encouraging moms out there. We want to give a, a shout out to moms Absolutely. that are working extra hard, especially this time of year. Yeah. They've got all the extra things, all the extra balls in the air that they're juggling. They're and normal stuff, and then you add the holidays. Right, and right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. It gets yeah. crazy. So we're kind of all about just lifting them up and making life a little bit easier for everybody. We're per moms ourselves, so we get it. Perfect. Well, let's start. Uh, what do we have? Uh, some things. All of this stuff, by the way, as I said, all under $50. So where are we starting? Right. We're going to start with the Uggs slipper socks. Okay. Because these are our yes. very favorite gift to give. Um, I love these, number one, because it's like giving a luxury item yeah. but without the luxury price. Um, Uggs are normally upwards of $200. 200, yes. So we can't usually give those to our friends and our family, but these still have the really soft kind of Sherpa inside. Ooh, so cozy. These are machine washable. <laughs> you got a great reaction. <laughs> and, that was, and that was just the M house. That was just that, yeah, that's right, yeah. I'll, I'll take a cheer out. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, and they're machine washable, and they're a great gift to give to those who you're not sure about their size, because these are one size fits all. They'll be used every single day. Yeah. I that's think it's a just a win-win. And I can't believe that that is under, fi that's $50. Yeah. And yeah. At Nordstrom's, you can get that. Exactly. Okay, uh, no, the blanket scarf, right, Jen? Yes. Yep, I found this little guy at Old Navy, of all places. When Seriously? I was shopping for my kids, yes. Oh. And it was, it's on sale right now for $15. This year, cozy, neutrals, huge, huge, huge hot items this year. And this one fits both of those things. Mostly cream with those nice couple grays, a little bit of black, goes with everything, 15 bucks. It will sell out, so I, don't hesitate. I, and you obviously, you're watching on the television, you can't, this doesn't feel like a $15 scarf. No, You know what no, I mean? It, yeah. it feels really luxurious. Yep. It Look looks at rich. Navy. We get so many. I know. We both have that scarf, and we get so many compliments when we wear it. Okay. Next. All right. So this time of year is all about the comforts of home, right? Yeah. And who does that better than Joanna Gaines? She's my secret. Hey, mom. Jojo. She's like a third mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We love Jojo. I actually have this book. I have been going through it for the last month or so, and she does such a good job of showing inspirations for her own home. But I love that she really walks us through how to tell a story with the decor in our home. And we're all about that at Shine Up Living. We really want women to be free to make their homes a reflection of their heart. Uh, we've done makeovers for moms, and, and we really are into that. So um, I just think that JoJo does such a good job. And I, I will tell you, uh, I was Black Friday, I was at a Target in Louisiana. And I can't begin to tell you how many carts had that book in it. Mm -hmm. right. People were, I, I was like, wow, that's a lot of Joanna books right there, yeah. And I think over Christmas time, we have a little bit more time to slow down yes. and read. I read a lot of books over Christmas time, and I'm going to be giving that to girlfriends. Jen, what do we have here? So we have a really cute graphic tee. It's by a brand new company we just, just discovered. We're super excited about it. It's called the Bee and the Fox is this company. I like now, that name. I know, isn't uh, it I like cute? a good name, that's yeah. a good name. Yeah. I know, so we found this little guy actually at a boutique here locally, but you can buy these online at thebeeandthefox.com. And what we love about it is it's got a really cute font, it's neutral again, um, and it has a really cute saying on it, don't mess with mama. So yeah. a really, and, all, and it's $28. I'm going to get that for my mother-in-law. Yeah. Don't mess with mama Haas. Yeah, yeah. But it's a good message graphic, right now, right? Yes, right. And graphic tees can be upwards of $50, $60, $70 yeah. in boutiques around here. This is $28 online. So Perfect. it's a great and price again, point. Uh, you're supporting a local business. Right. right. Okay, finally. Sherpa. Sherpa Love is the word Sherpa. of the season, everybody. I personally thought it was stag, but okay, I, but sure. Sherpa, okay. Sherpa, Sherpa, Sherpa. Um, I mean, you, we're seeing these everywhere. A lot of the young kids are wearing them, and I think moms can rock them too, right, Jen? Oh, yeah, I just had one on the other day. I actually stole mine from my daughter because I bought it for her for her birthday a week ago, and two days later, I threw it on, and it's the best shirt ever. This is really, can I take this out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Look at this. It's like wearing a cloud, you guys, yeah. Oh, it is amazing. Very, Aaron, Aaron yeah. Schwab, come over here. I want you to feel this. Come here, Aaron. Ooh. Aaron Schwab, everybody. Yeah, walk right in front of the camera. Just it is let me so see crazy. how you look in the Sherpa. Yeah. Right there, yes. There we go. Aaron. Aaron. Looks 
Good on you. You can take it, Aaron. Yeah, there we go. Give it up. Okay, you have to leave it, Aaron. You can't have it. It's, we didn't pay for it, Aaron. Get out of here. Give it up for Amy and Jen from Shine Up Living for more information. For more information, head to shineupliving.com. And again, uh, if you missed any of this, we're going to post this whole segment on Facebook just a little bit or a little bit later, and you can always watch us on Hulu. Well, you reacted to producer Ted's Hallmark review. We'll tell you about a li little bit about that, plus an update on the family that we've been trying to help uh, give a really good Christmas to. How much money did we raise? We'll tell you when we come back. Back after this. <laughs> for the uh, big old finish. I'll explain why there's a pillow on my lap uh, in just a minute. But first, yesterday we heard producer Ted's latest review of a Hallmark Christmas movie. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's now wanted in three states it's for true. his bad reviews. Yeah, this one is called Mingle All the Way. And our buddy Ted did not hold back, calling it horrible and one of the worst Christmas movies so far on the Hallmark <laughs> Channel. Well, uh, last week we shared your review of Ted's review uh, with some of you asking if Ted even watched the movie, others called, and this was my favorite, a 72-year-old woman referred to Ted as Hallmark Fraud. Hallmark <laughs> Fraud. Because she said it's obvious your producer isn't watching these movies. We had another woman who Feel said Ted heat. ruined their Thanksgiving because all Grandma wanted to talk about was how much she hated Ted. <laughs> <laughs> and she's blaming me for Ted's behavior. She almost They're doesn't like people. me anymore because of Ted. This is so, all Ted. So the family had to exp explain to Graham that Ted and Jason are different, that I don't, I'm not the, yeah, yeah. So it seems though, we're taking a turn because more of you what? are agreeing with Ted this week. Angie on our Facebook says, Ted is the man repping the bitter and jaded, myself <laughs> included, everywhere. Thank you, Ted. That's right. But I don't know if I would consider Ted bitter and jaded. Our executive producer, Jeff, <laughs> yes. But I mean, Ted, no. He doesn't go into them like with his blanket and thinking this is going to be so fun. He goes into it like, where can I attack this movie? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, if you want to read, if you want to look at Ted's review segment, just, uh, just go to our Facebook page, <laughs> click on videos and respond. Ted looks at all of them, even the mean ones. I really love those. Those are hysterical. Now, speaking of people that we love, at the beginning of the show, I told you that uh, members of the Jason Show fan club were in our audience. And one guy, uh, I love them all. I love, believe me, I love them all. But one guy is special to me. He's, he's become a dear friend. And Jace is in the audience. And Jace got our logo tattooed on his leg. I held his hand. Well, look what he, <laughs> this is, sincerely, this is one of the best gifts that we've ever been given. It's one of those pillows that you see. Now, watch this. No. Isn't that cool? I wow. love that. I absolutely love that. So that will be. We yeah. really needed a pillow for the couch, we too. We do. I know. We need to work. I, okay, I'm okay, Jason. Yeah, you're getting stop, out of control. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Jace, thank you so much. And, and he's been, been such a good advocate for the show. He's been a great advocate for people in general. Uh, and if you want to follow him, you can find him on the Jason Show Fan Club Facebook page. So, Jace, we love you and thank you very much. Now, speaking of more love, yesterday I told you about a family, thanks to Shane, uh, setting up the Anoka. I joined the Anoka High School Band, a uh, marching band for a day. And when I was there, I met a young man named Liam who shared with me a tragic story that his family lost uh, ho their house, all of their belongings, and their two beloved uh, uh, pets in a Thanksgiving Day fire. Um, his mother is a single mother, Michelle, a single mother of five children, all have different hobbies. One of the kids, the eighth grader, is a swimmer. Two of the kids are in band. They lost everything. So uh, I went to the bosses, and I said, we have uh, Eric, photographer Eric, and I immediately said, we have got to do something. And we did. We went to the bosses and we said, you know, my radio company and said, what can we do? Well, we uh, we promoted the GoFundMe page. Uh, the radio company is giving them new instruments. Uh, and look at this. Within just a few days, you have raised over twenty two thousand dollars for this family. So if you would like to donate, if you would like to donate, uh, we'll put a link on our Facebook page. Give what you can. As I say all the time, if everybody watching gave one dollar, we could really help this family have a, a, a good, they have to start from scratch. 
so we we, we can help him. Have goosebumps when yeah, you put that page up. It's just a lot it's of money. I just want to thank our guests, uh, all the guests today. But I'm just going to say this right now. Thanks to Shane because it's official. Yam House is officially <laughs> top three favorite guests of all time on the show. Yeah. Love them. Yeah. And and. This is this is Aaron Schwab's last day because Yam House has her now. That's right. <laughs> That's gonna do it for us. You go out there and be yourself because nobody can tell you're doing it wrong. Have a good day, everybody.